technology and a market perspective. Sure thing. So Cybeam has been very active not only in getting this industry sitting together, but also working with organizations like the various pieces of 802, whether it be the DOT 15 group. There's a, you know, Bruce talks about 3B. There's now 3C that looks at 60 gigahertz. It's a very, very high-speed pan. There's a new 802.11.3 organization that's looking at 60 gigahertz for the next generation of gigabit wireless networking. We have all been very careful, wireless HD 15 folks and DOT 11 folks, to make sure that we have a harmonized frequency plan. These things all work well together. Wireless HD has a data component to it because, you know, you're going to be carrying around a terabyte in your pocket before too long. You want to sync that to your various CE devices with all the content that you can get from iTunes or Amazon or wherever it will come from. So making sure that very high-speed near-field data, very high-speed uncompressed video, audio, multipoint connections, all that's encompassed in wireless HD and making sure that we cooperate with those standards bodies so that we don't have any interference. That being said, the nice thing about 60 gigahertz right now is that it is greenfield. There isn't interference right there. So you're using your Wi-Fi data network happily to download something, and your TV show is cranking along. If you fill the air with all those things trying to be together, it's a challenge. So I completely agree with Bruce. I think, you know, we're not looking for ubiquity here. We're looking for coexistence for each to its own proper way. And it may be the best way to get access to a YouTube video is a DOT 11 connection. I can suck that down to some solid-state storage on my TV. But then the set-top box talking to that thing in the room wants to be uncompressed. So I think there's certainly room there. We make sure we cooperate with all those parties. Yeah, I would just piggyback on that to say, you know, there's certainly no rule that says, you know, one technology per device. And I think you're absolutely going to see a variety of technologies and all this stuff together. Good question. Thank you.